We are on the steps of City Hall, where students have turned out in protest of a proposed bill that would add additional regulations to group living accommodations. The proposed regulations are likely to have serious impacts on students living in fraternities, sororities, and co-ops. We are out here today speaking to some of the students who are going to voice their opinions to City Council against the bill. Um, we brought a huge group of students out to oppose the group living accommodations bill. So we see a lot of issue with some of the um, some of the things the bill is trying to combat, and we're all here to just talk about how we feel about it. I know that there's people in our like the Greek system and in the student population as a whole at Berkeley that are passionate about this, and we have been trying to make change. Like implementing a law to try and make it happen like right away is not the right way to do things. It's not as effective, and I think the best way to go about this is to have students fight for students. Included in the regulations are limitations on large gatherings, increased regulations on underage drinking, required neighbor notifications for gatherings over 50 people, and the addition of a responsible resident. Some students express concerns about the impact on sexual assault survivors and affordable housing. If someone is sexually assaulted at a party, that house can be declared a public nuisance, which actually would discourage uh, sexual assault survivors because they will be discouraged from reporting over fears of being accused of trying to shut down a house. I would say that a lot of students, and I can't speak for all, but feel that it's just an unnecessary piece of legislation that is trying to do things that we're already doing on our own, but in a way that's not probably the most productive manner. Keep on coming to the city council and write letters, write emails to the city council members of not only the districts that go where they live, but also districts of the city council members that aren't in their areas that are very opposed to the bill. If we get as much support and reach out to these city council members, I feel like then maybe they would alter or deny this bill.